Alright, welcome back everyone. Now, annoyingly, I started to record the final bit and then not realising but my uh, memory card ran out of storage, so I, uh, yeah, I was recording to nothing. So, unfortunately, the last bit isn't on video. Um, but there wasn't really much in it, I literally just uh, bolted this on with the seven uh, M2x4 screws and three screws to bolt the cab on um, and, and that was literally it. Um, I've, from the last video, um, after the electronics, I literally um, screwed in the, um, uh, the, the tray that holds all the ESCs in and uh, tied it up all the wires with cable ties. Uh, the slew wiring I left full length and just cable tied it all in. Um, there was uh, no need to shorten any of the wires. Um, it's quite tight in there, but it wasn't horrendously tight. Um, and yeah, and then in the counterweight, this bit, this pulls down. I tightened all the wires up in there. Um, just super glued the wires down onto the, uh, the counterweight itself. And then keeps it all nice and neat with some shrink wrap. Um, battery just slots in and out. Just plug that through. So yeah, pull the counterweight down, slide the battery out, which is nice and handy. That's a 5500 3S. Um, that goes in with ease, so I reckon there's, you can definitely get probably an 8000 in there, I guess. Uh, providing it's not too much longer. Um, it will take a little bit of more, more length, but not much. So that's good to know. Um, and yeah, and then the counterweight just pops back up. It's quite a good, good design, this. Um, I did wonder how the battery was going to come in and out, and now you know. Um, again, you just pull down with the um, the crane lifting eyes. Um, so yeah. Now, um, I mentioned in the last video again about the, the relay in there. So that's all working, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's uh, fire it up and then I'll go through some of the things I've done with the radio because obviously with the um, with the uh, controls, obviously you want to be able to drive it around like a normal car as, as such with the sticks, but you also want to dig with the sticks. So um, I've done some mixing on the on the radio that has allowed me to do that. Um, so let's fire it up and I will show you. So now this obviously works as my on off switch. Um, so you can see that. Right, so on here we've got at the minute, if it focuses, it's in drive. So that now means that I can actually I'm going to put it in dig which so I flick this switch and then that goes into dig so then if I lift the boom up and then I will put the outriggers down and right so that's that so now if I Flick that switch and go into drive. Try and get that in so you can see it. So now my steering works off of this stick and my throttle and works off of the throttle stick, which is awesome. And then flick that switch back up to dig. Turn the pump up ever so slightly. And now we're Back to digging. You can see the slew works as it should. So, that's it and the movement 
it's a very a very precise they're probably still I'll turn the pump off a second yeah they're probably still a little on the quick side but overall the movements are, are nice uh, I'll just run through how I've got it set up um, if you're interested to know um, how to set up so it digs uh, on, on one setting and then drives on another basically you set up a flight mode uh, on the on the transmitter and then basically you do it all with switches so while it's still off the ground so this one's actually my throttle so that's just a sprung three position switch so forward and reverse and this one is my steering so you still need to assign them to a separate channel and then if I go into mixes then you'll see so the standard mixes so stick to pump bucket to pump boom to pump outriggers front and rear to pump and now stick to stick that mix there if I edit that, that mix there basically minus 100% so what that's doing is that's getting rid of the action for that stick so instead of when I make a movement on that you mix it out so that effectively does nothing on that stick now again on um, on the uh, on the slew I mixed that out as well so basically when I'm in drive mode the only two things that work is my throttle and my steering the, the boom doesn't work and neither will the slew work when I'm driving because again I've mixed them mixed them out to nothing um, so and then on the bucket so again the, the bucket stick I've mixed that out to nothing and now I've mixed stick to throttle so once you've eliminated everything so the sticks aren't doing anything you can then bring it back in but on that mix you'll see that I've got it on a switch the switch is F SF which is obviously this one here so when that's down that means that that mix is activated so when it's off then obviously you're, you're normal and then when I've activated it that means that that mix then comes into effect um, and then same with the bucket to the steering boom to boom obviously get rid of that uh, movement slew to slew get rid of the movement and that's just the hitch mix so there's 15 yeah I've got 15 mixes on this um, so yeah so again if we're going to flight modes you can see I've got dig and drive so drive is uh, no switch and then obviously dig you flick the switch so two different flight modes now go back into mixes and you can see that I've got the pump uh, set to 70% on the stick boom and bucket but obviously when you make more than one movement it will go straight up to 100% but on the on the servo setup you'll see that my pump I've only got set to 40% so 40% maximum power let's get out of focus 40% maximum power on the pump so no matter what it won't go above 40% so realistically it's still um, well it's not even halfway of, of, of what it could be I'm running 30 bar at the minute 28 to 30 bar according to that little gauge I don't know how accurate it is but it won't be a million miles away it's certainly good enough so yeah um, other than that, I think that's about it. And then, is there anything else? And then in the servo setup, so as you can see here, the end points, I set the end points up for the valves. Um, I always think that if the valves are fully open, then obviously they'll take more oil than they necessarily need. So I always limit the valves to how fast I want the movement so if you don't want the movement to be as fast then shut down the end point on the valve 
until you're happy with the speed. So when um, when you uh, have like a heavy a heavier excavator with a heavy bucket and boom and stick, now your up movement is usually much slower than your down movement because obviously gravity is pulling it down. Well, with this, so if I go to my boom. Um, so boom on the boom so max so I've got them both on 63% because obviously the the bucket and the uh, sorry the, the boom isn't actually massively heavy on this so if I go back into dig now when I lift the boom up that's full speed and down is full speed now down is probably ever so slightly faster than up but it's it's close but if I was to take away which one is it yes yeah, that one so that one there uh, max negative limit right there. Right there. boom max negative limit if I increase that, so basically that's allowing the servo to open more. So now when I go up, when I go down, it's not actually changed the speed of it too much. No, I've adjusted the wrong one, that's why. Turn that back to 63. 62, good enough. Alright, so crank that one open. It's, it's 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 obviously much quicker now but on on some machines it will drop before you've even the pumps even come in so again with this you can limit how much it, it how, how quickly it drops so again uh, when I get it outside in the in the dirt I'll be adjusting all the endpoints of all the valves until I'm happy with the speed of them. So yeah, if you've got any questions about that, just just drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to uh, explain. Um, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow, weather dependent, I will get it outside and hopefully get a video of it moving around and doing a bit of digging. But, I mean, uh, I'm trying to pump on. All the movements, I mean, you can make all three movements simultaneously and it doesn't... One's not more predominant over the other, like some machines are. And again, fine movements you can, you can do. I think it's still a little bit quick. I will slow it down a bit more. Actually, let me drop one down. Move it back. Hopefully, you can see it a bit better. But yeah, I run the pump just on a, a slow idle. I think it's probably going to be the best on this machine. I mean, you can make very, very precise movements with these valves. I really am impressed with these valves. And the quick hitch works really well. And yeah, I'm quite impressed with that.
Non, du fer, non. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the build. Um, any questions, yeah, feel free to ask, and I look forward to doing another one. Thanks very much.